help to represent those voices and to amplify those voices of the different feminist grassroots organizations that could not be here due to the different barriers in discriminatory visa process in very expensive flights, but not only for them, also for the ones who are not here, for those who have been killed because we are still based on models on extractive that are extracting our resources, that are taking our land and that are taking apart our culture and our identity. That's why we are here. That's why we are all here, because we demand climate justice and we demand gender justice now. That's beautiful, sister. Thank you so much. Thank I really you feel so you. Um, I, I'm hearing a lot now from indigenous groups like we need to somehow merge the old with the new and we need to move into a, an era of feminine en energy with feminine elders. You know, that we've, we've lost our connection with the mother and that is to deny our feminine. What, what, what can you say to that? I can tell you that the solutions to this climate crisis are already everywhere in the world, are already in the local communities. They are working with ancestral knowledge, with our resources, with a community-based approach, a locally-based approach that are working already on the ground. And that's what we need to fund. That's what we need to integrate in national climate policy. That's what we need to save us from this crisis. No more false solutions. No more carbon markets. No more lies. Thank you so much. I, yeah, I, I really feel that. Thank you. I really, really love that. Thank you.